What is going on YouTube today? I just wanted something that was nice and just like filling. Not too filling though, because I don't like feeling full. So I was like, what should I get? I was gonna get wings, but I was like, I got wings like a couple weeks ago. And I was like, do I really wanna get my hands like super messy right now? And the answer is a resounding no as usual. So I went to Montana's and I got myself some mac and cheese. I just remembered about it and I'm like, oh, I haven't had such a long time. So I was like, let me get it again. So I definitely had it on the channel before, a few times, twice, it'd be the third time. Last time I had it was like seven, eight months ago. So I was like, let me get it again. This is mac and cheese with buffalo chicken and some nice cornbread. So I can't wait to get into this. But before we get started, I just want to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anything I'm trying to talk about. Down to those, check out the timestamps down below. Let's break this bad boy open, take a look at it. I swear this thing looks different every single time I get it. Every time it looks different. Like it looks less and less saucy every time, but you know what? I'm sure it tastes good all the same. So let's take a fork here and get into this. So let's go. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Yeah, that's good. First chew here. Oh yeah, that's good. Every single time. This thing will look different every time, but tastes the same every time. One thing's for certain, I'm always gonna make a mess every time. All right, take another. Bite of the buffalo chicken. So it's also surprising me when people don't like buffalo sauce. Because this is like a buffalo hot sauce. Because they ask you, oh, do you want buffalo chicken? So I'm like, yeah. So obviously it comes with a buffalo chicken. But then on top of that, they asked me if I wanted a hot too. So I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. So in my mind, these guys just like mix it with I guess buffalo sauce and throw some like Frank's red hot sauce in it because it's not hot at all. I just said the last two times it's not hot, so. Let's see about this cornbread here. Mm, delicious. I'm just eating, eating, eating. Anyways, how was your guys' day today? Mine wasn't too bad. I didn't do much. But you know what I did see? I literally just seen it too. So I'm making this video. On Thursday. But when you guys see it, it'll probably be like, I think Wednesday, but today, as a lot of people know, Young Thug was actually on trial for racketeering charges, among other charges. I'm sure it's a, bit, a bunch of things, but basically he's like the leader of a YSL gang, which is like a gang that does organized crime. And this case has been going on for like a year minimum at least i think it's been out for some time now he's been there for a while or maybe it's been close to here i should know but yeah he's been there so many things have come out people have snitched like gonna people from his like gang Claim to try claiming insanity. He changed his name from Young Thug or said that Young Thug stands for Young Truly Humble Under God because he's a religious man. But today, apparently, he beat the case. He is being let out, I believe, on what was it, probation? I actually don't know because I've literally just seen it. But, but from what I'm seeing, he's being, uh, he's being let out. And so he's not spending the rest of his life 
literally in prison, he beat the case, you know? How you beat a racketeering case, I have no idea. That was like a serious crime, but uh, I don't know how the justice system works. I don't know what like deals have to be made to do it, but. That being said, Lil Dirk also got picked up by the feds too. And his was crazier because he had a friend who was wearing a wire for like several years. Like he served a, a 12 year prison sentence. And then when he got out, Dirk gave him like, house, car, money, and the guy still snitched on him, more wire and everything. Insane stuff. It's funny when one guy gets released, another one's going right in. That's crazy. Thugs is like, that's crazy to me. Cause I don't know if he was still doing all this like criminal mischief and all that stuff while he's like famous. I think he did it like at the very beginning. To mid part. But apparently Dirk was doing it like recently, right? Like, so it's like, damn. Cause it got information throughout the years on him. So man, like I'll never understand that. Never. Are you rich and famous and still do illegal stuff? Like for what? The whole point of you being rich and famous is so you don't have to do all this like nonsense. But I guess these guys didn't get the memo. So that's crazy. And apparently Tory Lanez is getting his uh, sentence appealed. Because he said he had an unfair trial. I think that's what it was. I'm not too sure what about it was unfair. Cause to my knowledge, it's not even like he, it was like Megan who was like suing him. It was like, wasn't it like the state or like, you know, he was just being prosecuted for shooting her in the foot. I don't know. But so much things about it is like unclear, like testimonies, witness statements. When he went to jail, he called, I think her name was Kel Chelsea. I was gonna say Kelly Chelsea. I apologize to her. He's like, oh, if I wasn't drunk, I would never have done that. Like, done what? What are you talking about? Like, who knows? I know his rappers are in and out of jail, and it's crazy. Fetty Wap's in jail for like five years. I don't even remember what he's in jail for. I think he always had like, he had like drugs on him, like a lot of weed and like meth or something. I don't even know. The Wap is in jail, so too. And he seems like a cool guy too. It's so tragic. Apparently, he went broke trying to get all of his friends out of the hood. What was the final bite here? She invested so he didn't have to sell drug stuff anymore. Final bite here. I'm just gonna do one big bite. Okay, and that was Montana's hot buffalo chicken mac and cheese with cornbread. Delicious as always. And yeah, with that being said, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Anything you're trying to talk about, down to that as well. Check out shit videos in the side. Hey, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole rappers going to jail coming in and out of jail situation like it's just crazy like i just feel like it's all happening at once for like everybody and it's just like a crazy time or it's kind of like a domino effect of like one person going down and then next 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 but as always thank you guys for watching as always i appreciate it that was montana's buffalo chicken mac and cheese and cornbread same score i gave it as last time it's delicious as always it's exactly the same so i'm not going to change it first review and peace